today's video, I'm going to show you the best way, most effective way to beat man coverage in Madden, or I keep saying Madden, in College Football 25. This is going to be cover one. This is going to be cover zero. This is going to be cover two man. It's going to be every kind of man coverage that they can play. And you can do this from any play. You don't need any hot routes because you have Hot Route Master already built in. If you wanted one hot route, just have a post on the outside receiver, okay? Uh, that's all you need. So I'm in the Alabama playbook. I've been running trips. I like trips. I think trips is probably the best offense of the game. If you want to get my full offensive ebook, that's going to be available in our school.com community. It shows you literally everything that I run. And we also are dropping a ton of updates as we find new stuff. So we got a lot of blitzes in there. We have covered shells. Everything that you need to, to get good at the game fast, we have in the school page as well as our full ebooks. And like I said, we're in the launch season, so we are constantly updating it. This is my favorite way to beat man coverage pretty much every year. Um, and it, it works this year as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to zig the middle trips receiver. We're going to slant the inside trips receiver. We're going to post the outside trips receiver. And if you want to, you can stem that up. Just one uh, stem to get it to go to about 13, 14, 15 yards. The reason this is good is because it's going to pull deep zones for our tight end who we're going to put on a crosser. Um, and we did not get him on the crosser. So we'll show you the post. As you can see, that post is super good. If you have a fast player there and you're playing cover two man, it is probably going to be a one play score. Anyways, the point is, and I keep putting the tight end on this hook route. I do not want him on that route. I want him on the cross. Uh, so as you see, this is what we have. And then with the running back, there's a couple different things that you could do with the running back. If you need to block him, feel free to block him. I really normally just put him on a simple table route. Uh, I think the table routes are really good this year. But look at this tight end crosser. This tight end crosser is super effective, and they're going to have to use her, that tight end crosser within the defense. Because they're going to have to use her, that tight end crosser, then what you're going to be able to do with this play, and this is why this is so good, you are going to be able to manipulate them with your skinny post as long as he runs himself open i think he did right there and you see it's an absolute laser over the top of the cover two man potentially a one play score type of beater now let's say they have a really good user and they are able to user the tight end crosser and the deep post well then what you're wanting to look for here is the slant route um, now, the one thing you can do with the slant route, let's say that you're, you're running this and you just feel like, ah, it's just not working like I want it to. I want that slant route to be just a little bit more like the press is really messing me up. Um, if that's the case, if you, if you need a little bit more help against press man, just kind of based on what your opponent is doing, what I want you to do here is I want you to actually go ahead and wheel the running back. And then I want you to slant the middle trips receiver. So you see how we flipped it? You're going to motion him in and snap. As soon as he moves, this is going to get him off of the jam. And then also, your running back now can be a big play threat. There, the, the half actually played really well. We would want to obviously hit the post, but the running back could be a really good threat as well. So if we want to run, if we want to run this again, uh, we'll show you here. So you see, watch this running back out of the backfield. You see, he's a threat. And then you have this slant. Gets off that jam super easy, and you're going to have that ability to be thrown. So that's that's cover two man. That's probably the best way to play man coverage. Um, another way that people like to play man coverage is they love to utilize a cover one robber press. This play kills that coverage. Now, I want you to make one adjustment to this play. If you know that it is cover one robber press, you're just going to streak or fade the solo receiver or outside trips receiver. First and foremost, this is where your zig route is going to be a lot better. Your zig route is going to be a lot better against cover one robber press than it is against cover two man because the shade in cover one robber is more of a standard shade. It's not shading underneath, uh, which is helpful. And then your deep fade on the outside. Um, these fades, when they get a step, they are super hard to guard. So I would look if he has a step on him, and I would throw it if he does in the situation where there's no safety help. Now, if you leave this post, it's no big deal. But because they do have that safety, you're not going to really want to hit that. But you have a lot of other stuff. Like you have the crosser right there, and then you also have the, the tight end coming back over the middle. So you still have you know quite a lot if they don't. Uh, do what you ultimately think they're going to do. And this crosser to the tight end, guys, is really good. As you can see, super good. I think Quinn Ewers is a really good quarterback in this game. If you're not using Quinn Ewers, I would recommend it if you are in regs. 
Another thing that you can do uh, against cover two man, we didn't get into too much, is you can wheel this slot receiver. Um, this one is a little bit more, like it's good. It's okay. It, it's it's not a bad way to run this. Um, so you see here, here's watch this cover two man. So you see how that wheel can kind of get into a really soft spot against that coverage. That is something you can do. But in general, these are the ways I like to beat cover um, cover two man cover Z, or, uh, and cover one. Now I want to show you how I like to beat cover zero. So typically with cover zero, there's going to be a blitzing component to the defense. So what I like to do when there's a blitzing component is either block my running back or use my running back to quick dot the blitz. So if you look at the man coverage concept here, you see how this um, the, the user is essentially going to guard the running back. So then if the user does go guard the running back on this table route, then it leaves the entire middle of the field open for us to hit this crosser quick. And that crosser, if he breaks a tackle, he's going to potentially be a one-play score you know, against, against, that, against that coverage. Another way that I really like to stop or kind of counter the cover zero is just a simple um, – let me see if I can show you here. Just a simple uh, blocking of the running back. Most of the time, this will pick up most blitzes, and then now they don't have any help over the top, and so look who's wide open again. You've got that post because that post just cooks that main coverage if you get a good pass lead on that ball. And then also you still have your, you know, like if they, let's say they do, you know, play pretty good defense, well, then you have your slant, which we know is super good as well. So a lot of really good man beating routes in this play. I think it's one of the best ways and concepts. I call this the shallow cross concept. Super good way to beat man coverage every single year from all kinds of different formations. It's really good from Tripside In this year. If you want to get my entire Tripside In offensive ebook, make sure you join the school.com community page. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below.